Today, I'm going to show you how to access Samsung notes on multiple devices, for example, Windows, Android, and not a Samsung. So for example, with my Huawei P20, I could easily open it and it works. Here's an example, and this is not a Samsung phone, but also Linux, macOS, Intel, and macOS, the M chips, and also iOS, which means pretty much every single OS you can want Samsung notes on. For example, very easily, just install Samsung Notes from the Microsoft Store. After doing that, it should pop up something like this, which can easily fix that. If you are like me, by going to the video in the description and after doing this in the description here, you can actually find the laptop mask right here. Which means if you get this one, you just want to scroll down right here and on the right side. I mean, just download the startup bat file or the no startup. And what the difference is, the startup bat file will open a command prompt every single time the computer starts. And after that, your Samsung notes will work. If you use the no startup, that means that you have to enable it yourself every single time. And I was looking here because uh, I thought there were releases, but it's just one file. So just click on it, then go to the right side right here, click on the three dots, and I click here on download. You can see that it already downloads on my system. Now let's just open Samsung notes on the Microsoft Store. And it will say that it doesn't work. Make sure you quit Samsung Notes. And after doing this, open the bat file. And now you get a command prompt. And after this command prompt, you can open Samsung Notes yourself without any problems. Sorry, my camera lagged. Right here, I can finally log in. I can also skip it and then it will work. I can also choose to let it run in the background. That's how to get Samsung Notes on Windows very fast. But the second one is going to be a non-Samsung phone. So for example, I have my Huawei P20 here, which normally shouldn't support this. To show you that it works, I'm going to first uninstall Samsung Notes, just like this. It just uninstalled. Depending on your phone, go to the description and then make sure you get this Samsung Notes APK. Just scroll down right here. And after doing this, you should be able to find this orange button and just make sure you click on download APK. After doing this, it will probably pop up with Chrome and ask for sources that you have to trust. I mean for Chrome, but for me, it also sets up with files. Make sure you go to the settings. After doing this, just click on allow app installs. Then this pop up will appear, Samsung Notes, just install it. Very easily, you have already installed Samsung Notes on your non Samsung device. The reason why this works is because some devices do have the same chips and everything as older Samsungs and that's why you can confuse it by installing a specific APK. I'm going to open it and you can see that it works. You can easily make notes now in any Android device, which also includes tablets. But do mind, it is an older version of Samsung and you don't have cloud support. Which means if you go to the settings, you will see these boring settings and that means you can't really do much. But for the rest, Samsung Notes does work. Make sure that you check out our promotions because we're really doing our best to make these videos. This way you can actually support this channel and make sure that we produce a lot better videos every single time and you keep us motivated. Also, by dropping a like on this video and subscribing to it. The next four ways to get Samsung Notes on really every single device I don't really own a device like this. I don't own a Linux, main computer, macOS, and also iOS. And with macOS, you have two different chips. Right here, I'm in a virtual machine and I can't really get it working, but I'm going to show you which application does work. But because this is not a Linux computer in itself, it doesn't have the kernels required, the modules. If you go to the link in the description, you will find the Android non-Samsung file and yeah, adverts. And right here, you just have to scroll down and click on download APK right here. We are downloading this because we're going to run Android inside of Linux and then we can start up this application, which will make sure it works. By the way, if you ever get very annoying pop-ups just like I got, and you don't want to show that on YouTube really, uh, just get uBlock Origin and after this it will be solved. These annoying pop-ups won't appear anymore. There you go, just add. Now you can finally go to the link in the description and then check out the documentation of Wagedroid. And with Wagedroid, you can install it on every single Linux you see right here. These distributions are supported and otherwise you just have to contact them. Uh, but these are a lot. 
and Ubuntu and Debian are very broad. Uh, so yeah, I think most users probably have Ubuntu, uh, Debian, I mean, not really Debian, but or Fedora. So check out those, uh, they are supported. You also have Arch Linux. So depending on which one you have, uh, with Ubuntu, which is the most common one, just click on this link and they go to this page and make sure that you go to step one, sudo nano, so you can open this file inside of Ubuntu. After opening that file, just enter your password and then go down here with the arrows, just arrow down and then just delete this comment right here, this hashtag. And after doing that, change this false to true. And of course, keep the percentage icon. Control S and Control X will save it. After doing this, we have changed it just like this. And you just have to uh, restart your GDM3, which is uh, the display drive or something like that. Now it's the Ubuntu desktop itself. After doing this, you should be able to run Wayland inside of Ubuntu. Which means with this display, a module or something like that, you can actually run Wayjoid itself and also other applications. Uh, also Discord screen sharing. If you don't have it enabled, you shouldn't be able to screen share. It's really weird because it isn't supported. Of course, Linux is always improving. I'm going to restore my session. And if that doesn't work, I have a very great tip for you. You just have to do this. And if you log out right now, I'm going to show you. If you log out right now and I move my um, camera, you don't see the icon right here. But to get that icon very easily, just get this nano config, again, this command, and to your password. And then make sure you disable auto login which you can do right here oh my mistake make sure that does that doesn't change auto login enabled make sure it is on false because once you restart your computer you can actually set it to wayland and the reason why i want this is because otherwise wage work will really not work make sure that you type this inside of your command prompt which is also in the description because if you don't have wayland enabled it shouldn't work so right here, you can see that my session type is Wayland. But if it says X11, that means that you still have to configure a few things. After doing this, you can finally install Waydroid. Right here, you have to app install, then repository, then you install Waydroid itself. And these are certificates, so it can work. Very easily, copy, paste them, Control, Shift and V will work. Do mind, I can show you the steps, but Waydroid doesn't really work in a virtual machine because of kernel modules I'm missing. Okay, the next one, very easily. This is of course the way to get the repository of Waydroid itself so you can install the application. The next one is Waydroid itself. And then accept everything, which stands with the I very easily. After all of that, the only thing you really have to do right now is open way to itself right here make sure that you click on android type and then gaps because you will get google google services for example play store so you can install more apps if you want and actually what's great about this is you have to click download because i'm kind of continuing talking is that you can install a lot of applications very easily and run them native in linux itself and this is also including the samsung notes application right here the apk uh, have I installed it? I don't know. Just click on download the APK and it will uh, download to your downloads folder very easily. This is gonna take a while, so just sit back and relax, watch a show or something. And I'm gonna do that too, and we'll be right back. Let's continue the video. It is 6 a.m. for me, but I'm gonna continue. So after it's finished downloading, and you probably got Gaps or Vanilla, you actually get this screen. And right here, you can easily click on done and then we can move on to the next step. If Wayland is enabled, you should be able to open Waydroid without any problems and it can actually launch the UI. It can take a moment before it starts up, so just let Waydroid run in the background. What we can do is go to the files right here and then make sure that we go to the downloads folder where the Samsung APK is. Right here, you can actually see I have two files, so I'm just gonna delete this one with the one because that's a duplicate. You can already see Waydroid starting while we're talking. Just right click here on this screen and then open in terminal. After doing this, we can actually prepare the command so we can install the application to Waydroid and therefore also on your Linux system. 
So very simple, sudo, which gives uh, administrative privileges, then wajoid, which is the application we're calling, and then we say app, and then with app, we want to give the parameter install. And what, we, what do we want to install? Well, uh, the file in the directory right here. So com.samsung, so just type com and then press tab. Now we are prepared to install Samsung Note on our Linux. First, Wagedroid needs to start up. But like I said in the beginning of this tutorial, Wagedroid has kernel modules required, which are not on my VM right now. So let's say that this doesn't pop up for you and you've done all the steps I have told you. This is actually the UI of Wagedroid itself, so your Android inside of Linux. Now very easily in the install instructions with Ubuntu, you actually have to make sure that Wayland is enabled, like I told you in the beginning of this tutorial. If you grab this command right here, you can actually check if you have Wayland enabled or not in your command prompt. So let's open another one, a new window, and let's check with Ctrl shift and then v if this is wayland yeah if it is wayland that means that it is going to work so right now what we can do is do sudo wagedroid app install and make sure that we install it on wagedroid itself enter your password and then you can easily use samsung nodes inside of wagedroid after doing that you should be seeing it with the wagedroid apps so just search for Samsung Notes itself and it will work. So for example, right here you have a calendar, music and everything. And these are all from Wadroid itself. If you have any more questions about this, these steps, then make sure you comment down below so we can directly help you. But the reason why I can't show you is because I'm using a virtual machine which doesn't have the kernel modules required to make this Android inside of virtual machine work it's virtual machine inside of a virtual machine but it will work natively you can open something notes and it will work but let's continue on to the next one mac os intel and the m1 2 and 3 chips and also ios Probably the biggest reason why you should subscribe is because we have seen that a lot of people have been using Samsung Notes, but they don't have a Samsung phone. For example, this is Hawaii, this is a P20 phone, and I can't get Samsung Notes normally. But you can easily see Hawaii, this is not a Samsung phone. But even though that's the case, I can easily open Samsung Notes right here. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're really doing our best and this is working. I wish I could give you a better feel but this is macOS and I'm going to show you how to get it on your Mac itself. Very easily just go to Safari and the link in the description for Intel is this one and for the M chips it's this one. Eventually we need this Android 9 image file so it can actually start up Android inside of a macOS but also for your iOS. So very easily Bluestacks if you've heard about it you probably have used Windows so right here, for everybody that has an Intel processor, this means you have an older MacBook laptop. You've probably seen M1, M2, and I think M3 on your laptop, and that means that you can't use this version. But therefore, I have an alternative for you that will actually also work. Very easily, just click here and download, then you'll get a DMG file, and you just have to install it with the steps to actually show you here, which is pretty useful. Very easily, right above, you actually see a download icon, and it is installing this file. And it is a package file, I'm sorry, it's not a DMG, it's a PKG, which is a package, so you can actually install Bluestacks itself. Just double click on it, then we'll open the installer, and then make sure that you have an Intel computer. This one is actually sort of an M1 chip or something. Let's go to the next one. This is probably the one you have if you have a newer laptop. You actually have this one. So let's check it out. It's in the description. You can easily go to it. It's actually called UTM. And this is virtual machines for macOS itself. You can easily run Android on it. But firstly, if you go to the other link in the description, Android 9 for UTM macOS and iOS, you can actually scroll down right here and then download this Android file. So you can actually get started. You can get the zip file or the torrent, but I recommend you get the zip file because probably you don't have torrent. So let's click here on download itself. Very easily, just click on allow. Right above, it will actually all download. You just have to wait a moment and this one is going to take longer than the UTM itself. 
So right here we have it for macOS. You can actually also get it in the App Store itself. So now it's going to open my App Store. <clears throat> this way you also know that it's safe. Right here. Okay, well, it has a price. But to get it for free, just get back and click on download. Now, let's click on allow. After doing this, you can see that it's downloading on my macOS. There you go, it's a DMG file. Just double click on it and we can actually install it right here. Like I said, this is a virtual machine. That means there's a probability I can already show the steps. I'm going to try my best. Right here, you just have to drag it to applications. So it's a applications folder. Now we can actually double click on it when it's finished. Just let it finish first. Double click on it so it can actually open application. You do need macOS above 11.3 and I do have an older one because running a virtual machine macOS is quite difficult. But here we have the UTM file which is of course the Android itself. Right here I have a tutorial for you. You can actually check out in the description. So shout out to this guy so you can actually install UTM on your own macOS. I can also make a tutorial about this but first I need to update my macOS so I can eventually also get there. So make sure that when he's showing you these steps, you get this Android 9 UTM file. So you can actually open it with UTM. Well, I can't really open it, I guess. Well, if you can, you can select it here in applications and it will work and start up your Android 9. Well, of course, it depends on which Android you have, but probably you can install this 9.0 file because it's a 9.0 APK file. I, I mean, uh, Android 9 installation I gave you. So right here, just click on download APK and then install this to your Android 9 itself. You can do this on the Android itself, so you can directly install it. It's in the link in the description and you can find it under Android non-Samsung because we have multiple steps in this video. I'm trying to keep it clear and not add a million links of the same link. So Android non-Samsung, it's actually above. That's the link to this Samsung Note APK file. Well, the last one is for iOS. If you go to the link in the description, you can actually also find it way below for iOS. You can also run virtual machines, the same steps, Android 9, and then the Samsung Note APK. If I had an iOS device, I would have shown you guys, but when I can run such virtual machines or something, I will make the tutorials directly. I just wanted to show you how to do it in an um, informative way. Instead of really showing you, I can show you that it's possible and you shouldn't give up hope. If you love Samsung Notes, you really want to use it. And if there's any better way, except virtual machines, I will also show that. But it's not natively supported yet. Who knows? Don't give up hope. Samsung Notes is a great application and you shouldn't be giving up hope when you have a different operating system or not a Samsung phone anymore. And I think that one is the most used, I guess. Samsung, I mean Android tablets and Android phones. So yeah, just check out in the beginning of the video, I've shown you how to get Android. I mean, Samsung Note for Android non-Samsung. It's 6.32 for me and I gotta go to work in just a minute. I want to thank you so much and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can make more tutorials way better than this without me spending the night or getting up very early for this. I'll actually see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.